Hello, everybody. My name is Frank White. I am the author of The Overview Effect, Space Exploration and Human Evolution. I'm really sorry I can't be with you today, but I wanted to share a few thoughts with you via this Zoom recording. You know, I have interviewed more than 40 astronauts now, women and men, in my research on the overview effect, which is a shift in worldview that space travelers experience when they see the Earth from space and in space, from low Earth orbit or on a lunar mission. And of course, they're all individuals, they're all different, they have different ways of describing what they learned from the experience, but certain themes do stand out. One of the themes that's particularly relevant to what you're doing today is they'll say, from that distance, you know, you just don't see all these differences that divide us on the surface of the planet. And you get this feeling that we're all part of a whole system and we're really all in this together with all of life on the earth. This is a sentiment, of course, that's been expressed during this COVID crisis that we've been going through. This is a very important sentiment of unity right now as we begin to think about humanity moving off of planet Earth and become a, becoming a multi-planet species. You know, there are many people now who believe that in the next few decades, we will have thousands of human beings living and working in other parts of the solar system. And the question now is not so much, can we do it or how can we do it, but how will we do it? Will we leave behind some of the inequalities and inequities and problems of terrestrial society as we build a solar civilization? I am of the opinion we can do it, but it will take choices and decisions guided by events like the one you are holding today. We can decide to have what I call a human space program that is representative of all of humanity and takes into account the differences in a vision of unity and togetherness and access for all to this great adventure that we're about to begin. And of course, we know that the United Nations has been an organization for many years that has worked very hard to represent everyone on planet Earth. And within the United Nations, the United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs has also worked very hard to foster an idea of collaboration and peaceful exploration of the cosmos. So by focusing Space for Women, the initiative of Space for Women within that context, it's a very appropriate place for this work to be done. But it's also quite urgent that it get done because this opportunity may pass and we may see many of the issues that we faced on Earth being faced as we move into other parts of the solar system. So I commend you for what you are doing. I support your efforts and I hope that next time you get together, I can join you in a more direct way. Thank you so much for inviting me and have a great meeting.